Sorry guys, I just have to make sure that this hoodie is over the camera. I don't have these fancy waterproof cameras. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back with me on the kayak. Here it is a long time, more than a month last time that I was on the dam. As you can see, sitting in a raincoat. Uh, according to the weather report, the rain should have stopped an hour ago already. Uh, but yeah, I've waited long enough in the car. Let's see if we can get something. Hey, water temperature a nice 27 degrees. That's really hot. What I say? Was that the grass or was that the first bite on the first cast? First cast, first fish. And it was a status quo. He's not in the boat, so I won't see that as uh, bad luck. The first cast curse. Underneath the boat. And the first one is in the boat. This one's got a proper root set, just a little status quo, but he's there. I have not even left my launch place. Already hooked three fish. Not gonna complain about that. about the same as the previous one I'm not gonna measure these guys ah. through the grass fish alert Little baby, baby. I say, I went a little bit wilder on the hook set with this one. The scroll is thick and the hook is not that big. Not 100% sure about hook settings. Just the status quo, but he was a fighter, this one. And it seems the watermelon red flake is doing the job. Okay, another one, status quo. I don't mind. I don't mind. After the week in Port Edward, where we caught only three fish between the three of us for a whole week. One for me, one for Niku, one for Azel. I don't mind status quo. 
This one came in swimming. <laughs> he came in swimming. He picked he picked up the bait in the pass by. Where are you going? Are you going to school today? Are you late? Well if you're gonna continue like that you're gonna be definitely late. Are they? Small but there. I have to try this. The thing is, we are in the grass. Okay, let's move a little bit. I specifically, specifically came this side to experience this beautiful bushveld part of the dam. going on Okay, status quo. Not gonna get that today on these guys. I must say this big crawl is surprising me. I always thought the body was a bit thick for using on a Texas. I actually got it to try it as a trailer for or jig or something so I never used it previously but I'm pleasantly surprised even with the small ones that we're catching today I have to say I'm totally in love with this Recon and Serrano combo that I've got treated myself with it's a lovely rod my first one piece that I've got decided to go with the one piece tested all my other rods with two pieces two pieces is just so much easier when it comes to transportation and walking in the house <laughs> And this is a 7.10 or a 7.11, so it's a bit longer than the, all my other 7 feet. Opted with this one for the medium, at my Scorpio and my Dark Shadow. It's all medium babies. Missed that one. Uh, everything else is medium heavy so I decided to go with the medium so I don't think I'm gonna use this one like the other bait casters that I'm also using for catfishing I'll stay to the medium heavy for those bad boys there at the dam wall I've not seen a lot of 
catfish action that's the east of action starting happening that is slowly but surely the water is getting alive <coughs> oh. frog in the throat perfect I'm starting to learn this bait, these bait casters I'm gonna try something that I have never tried before. Can't believe I never tried it. So I'm gonna try with this black Senko in this overcast conditions. See what's happening with it. If anything at all. Okay. Uh, first time on the water Okuma tactical that I've got myself It is the old model Beggars can't be choosers But um, I always wanted the tactical uh, After I broke My graphite spinning rod on the river I have never replaced it so before we left for Port Edward I had some, some something left from my bonus and this older tactical model was on special so I said, why not? Let's replace the old spinning rod that is broken. Right, let's see Witless what it is doing in these grasses. And the tactical is putting that weightless just where I wanted it the tactical is also a medium heavy but I don't see myself as one of those pure bass fishermen that get angry when they get, catch something else You've seen in my previous videos, I I like my catfish. For me, a fishing rod is a fishing rod. If it can catch a bass, it can catch a catfish can catch a carp why is the jackal going on like this during daytime because I want to move I need to get to that place where the jackals is holding Quo, but this one took it properly 
it was a nice bite. It was not a tick, tick, tick. Coming to the boat. All the way coming to the boat. Fish are lively today. Are they? Coming from the dock. Nice little status quo plus size. Look at baby bass flukes. Wow. Can't remember that I bought baby bass flukes. The previous time using this creature bait, not really satisfied, and for some reason I'm still not satisfied. When I started my bass fishing journey, caught some beautiful bass in the river, and I crushed them with only baby bass paddle tails in the river and then I just stopped nothing else with it not again never again on the baby bass look and up you go underneath the chair you are catfish bait ne? now this one begs to be catfish bait but not now